get into it, ladies and gentlemen. FaZe and now V already blowing up the door. Rain leading the charge, trying to get down. Oh, boom, she's chasing them. Oh, no. Is out and he stabs Olofmeister. What a beginning to the match. Now a three versus four as Cold Sierra is going to get the kill. But this is all the action. You could have wanted it more right here at Intel Extreme Masters. Man. It's not even about picking it up and getting to the bomb site. No. It's about the fact that you have two players still alive in the doors in the window. You're going to have more battles coming. So at this point for FaZe, the bomb plan is everything you could want. And Boomich is going to deny even that. So is Flamey. They're going to start bomb rushing Brokey off the plan. He's still got some time, but does fall in the end. Just a swarm of Navi players. But that's all on Boomich. 2-1-3. Still about 50 seconds, a little bit less than the clock. Rain on the one side of the map. And Cold Sierra not getting flanked. He saw that coming. And that's a 2-1-2 two -two now. And I have no idea how they got in here without getting either shot in the back or running out of time or having a tr problem when the bomb finally goes down. This seems very, very strange indeed. Two on two, and the after plant here not going to be easy at all. A fight for Perfecto, and he can't win it, and that means Electronic has to back on out, and FaZe will pick up the third round. I don't mind that call for, for Na'Vi on the, on the retake attempt. So far, going to be sneaking towards the ramp where Flamey is. Oh, I think they just ate a grenade. That's a lot of damage. Rain is trying to sneak around on the one side. Cold Sierra is holding this, so they're actually just putting Rain in as the, as the main point of this attack, trying to see if he can get deep in. And I think they're hoping to force someone back into his arms with that Molotov, but he goes down to simple instead. And now, where is this attack going? They needed that win. Cold has been waiting outside of the arm forever and has not seen a single person. Has no chance to get any fights out there. And now they're going to try and see if they can swap it around and maybe go for the A-bomb side. With 30 seconds left, it's going to be a very, very tall order indeed. Cold getting dropped low and again, Na'Vi are all in position. Simple now down to the bomb site. It's three people defending it. Simple going down to Nico and a bit of an attempt here, Perfecto. Again, just time is the problem. 16 seconds on the clock as they're trying to get in. Cold is down and out and Olofmeister dropping the bomb in the middle of it, meaning just a one versus four here for Brokey. Absolutely no chance. Doing damage was the best that he could have hoped for. In the early stages of this year, hopefully he keeps it up. Rod Katowice, and when we get to that big stage, there's his opening kill. He returns fire onto Rain. I think one of the one of the topics. Ooh, Nico actually called a thought headshot on Flamey to take him down, and wanted to go for even a second one here. Definitely don't let Faze have a round like this, and it can happen. It's we've seen that many times. It's one of the ridiculous and. Ultimately, entertaining things about watching FaZe play in general is that sometimes you'll just get these rounds where it's just oh, no. inexplicable, caught in the middle of nowhere. Goes going all the way around. This, I don't think there's time for this. No, this seems incredibly risky. He has got a flashbang, so he could even use it. I mean, he could go for the kill or set up the flashbang. It's hard to know which one is better, but he's out of time. 10 seconds as they try and make their way out squeak, but that's the bomb, bomb back there. I don't think they're already out of time. Nico does what he needs to, but can they actually do anything? No, it's too late. Oh, they almost had it. Did Olofmeister even try to switch out a gun in the meantime? I'm not sure what just happened. Nico with a triple kill, but it doesn't matter. Na'Vi will win the round. Couple of smokes and... I mean, they could try and get down here. Molotov, actually electronic. A little bit delayed in his decision making, so they're not going to have much of an impact. They get to go down, but they only have pistols. So I think Na'Vi probably know that and probably don't care that they get to have this part of the map. Rumich. <laughs> And Flamey's still able to call out that no one has entered the bomb site. They just swing out now as he looked away. A big trade. He's trying to go for it. Again, clock is going to be a huge factor. Perfecto should be able to get the information with this peak. But can he survive? They're spamming through 9 HP. Nate is out. That'll do good damage. He does fall from an HG from Cold himself. And this time, plenty of time to get the plant. A shot right here. Could actually cost him the round. All of Meister's in position for it, but simple. Still making it work. And Cold Sierra, yeah, he's trapped in here. He knows it. He goes oh! down. Oh, a wall bank shot right through. That's a disgusting way to win a round. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's one of those things. If if the timing is good. Oh, nice shot from Cold Zero taking down Simple. It's a four-man death squad out here that can, you know, should be able to take care of themselves pretty much. Electronic forced out. Oh, and actually winning the fight. That's very awkward. That whole play was for that to happen, and yet. They couldn't really get the kill. Flashbang. Oh, oh and he no. swings. All of my sisters flanking around through the, through, again, through the, the vent room here. But what does that matter? 13, oh, sorry, 17 seconds. They're going to be in here, but the bomb is coming in from the other side. They have 10 seconds now. They need to get in flawlessly. Boomage, if he survives for another couple of seconds, that's it. All of my sisters getting two big kills. And phase. the oh, door is going to be open, but not, can't actually stop the bomb from being planted. That was on the other side of the silo. 
Man, still, if they lose this round, phase, they have almost no one to blame but themselves. Flashing their way through the smoke. All of Meister trying to cover that entrance. Brokey up on the high ground and maybe could do something. They're right underneath him. Long range spray as Flamey goes down, leaving Perfecto in a one versus two. And somehow they may have found a way back into this round phase, but this should be an absolute wake up call. Too much and way too close here. It's a lot on the line. Nice triple from all of Meister generating. <laughs> Boomers need a little bit of love these days. Oh god, this cannot be happening. How is Electronics such a beast? Please. <laughs> How are they struggling with Electronics so much at the moment? They're, just go away from them. At the and the other two coming in from the other side, almost a mirror scenario, except... Um, oh, they have a crossfire set up. There's Perfecto with one, and this is one of those rounds that's literally like death by a thousand cuts. The P2K, the USP, adding kills every step of the path. Here we go, Brokey coming out the door. One player in dark, and he could just bide his time. He could Simple could just sit here and wait the whole time, wait for the retake, or just stop the plant straight up. All of Meister now, 10 seconds, and he's going to get shut down. <laughs> Don't do the rest of the economy, just think about that. <laughs> Similar setup. This is the, We saw this earlier, and they didn't actually get into it. This time, we're looking better. Perfecto edging on the smoke, and he gets absolutely wrecked by Nico and Rain. Good combination there. And now they're on the bomb side. This would have happened last time. If they hadn't faked it last time, this would have been the, just a mirror replay. Headshot taking down Boomich just at the edge. Nice find. And again, Navi, for everything that they've been winning, they might want to think about just backing out of this. They don't have any money. Electronic still getting kills, no matter what. He's good for two every single time. I really like this. I don't even think that maybe the first time around, this makes me think it's not designed to be a, fl uh, a fake. It's designed to let Rain do whatever he can in the upper bomb set, and you go off of his production. This is a beautiful round from him. The entry, holding onto the site, and now it should just be easy. Flamey's got to back off. He wants to get a deeper angle to look down, but he's going to miss Rain. Right down there, he jumps down. They didn't hear that at all, and he's going to take a kill. Colts here will drop one, and now he's in mini. They're going to crunch in from the other side. Simple just trapped in the corner, and he needed that kill, but he couldn't get it. Looked like he had a big opportunity, and now Flamey running inside of the Molotov just comes charging right through. He picks up one more kill, and now Nico, he's got all the health in the world, and Flamey, oh, he gets tagged right as he's about to leap down. He wanted to get out of that exposed position. Tronic at the edge of the smoke. Simple. Oh, the timing is nearly perfect. They got a bit of information. Boomich is holding downstairs in the lower part of the map, so he knows no one is showing up here. Like, I mean, it makes sense for Electronic to fall this far back. Especially because they've actually attacked Heaven a number of times. It's not yeah. like they haven't tried to try to go there. And with that low HP, yeah, you're kind of taking yourself out of the fight, but it's 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 worth the risk in a way because you have such low health. And if he gets this kill on Brokey flanking in, that'd be massive. Instead, he loses it. And now the upper bomb site, you're in a lot of trouble. Fair play to Boomich getting that one. 15 seconds on the clock and with two people in the lobby. Oh, oh, they actually just go for it. I was going to say they could try and fake them out and just only show one. Instead, they end up losing that final round. Two smokes. One of them already used an HE grenade as well. And we're, we're off to a pretty hot start. I think they've smoked mini or at least smoked the vents down there. They've left simple outside. This seems like a pretty deep fake. Yeah, right now, they're just trying to obscure phase from knowing that they're actually coming. But they run into the ramp room and there is a really big crossfire set up here. Cold pushing out as well. And now they have to run back. Oh, Navi, this seems very awkward, doesn't it? Oh, that needs to be a kill for Rain. It's not. He stepped. He still got blind. I think he wanted to avoid the flashbang. Three players in the site. Bomb going down, and we have a retake. Playing for time. Just trying to see if they can make this really tricky. They're in the hut as well. And Olofmeister, a bit of a fight there. Still trying to be on it. Oh, but Brokey went down. So the bomb still ticking away. And they're going to be picking it up. Yeah. yeah, they should have it. But that is actually pretty scary. That could have been a lot of confusion, but FaZe will win the round. And it, but let's see if Brokey is going to be uh, feeling good with the scout out here. The smokes are going to make it a life really tricky. There's the flashbang to set it up for Nico. He gets close with the FAMAS and he could have oh. had probably more. That's a good idea for a setup, but didn't really work out the way they wanted. <laughs> Sticks his head up. Oh, and Rain goes down at the lower part of the map. 20 seconds here. All of Meister, hearing them falling back, surely, yeah. Now he definitely knows, and yep, back up the ladder. They need to go right now, otherwise they're not going to be there in time. Ooh. Great shot, taking down Electronic. More damage on Simple, and that might have been enough. Nine seconds, the bomb drops in. In a two-on-two, -two, that's not good. They don't think they have the time for the plant. They can't make it now, and all of Meister's already running, so he just had to gamble that they weren't going to be uh, planting the bomb in time. They could set up for the same flashbang here if they're quick about it. Similar kind of setup. Nico, last time he fell back from the monolith, this time he actually pushed up. 
And Electronic not really looking like he knows, and the scout shot actually took all of his attention away. Molotov to buy even more time, and is there going to be a flashbang coming? Nico is thinking about it and waiting for it. He almost wins that fight against Simple, a lot of damage onto him, but still, that's a really, really good trade outside. And Almost pays for it with his life, and he goes back for more. This time he is punished, and just more aggression on a face, even with the advantages. Rain, this is a huge risk. Simple's gonna take him down for free. I'm not quite sure what read they have at the moment, but they're throwing a couple lives away, and this gets much more difficult. Oh, he actually stopped the bomb there and put it in a two-on-two -two just with a USP. All of my stuff peaking just as the bomb was about to be planted, and now Simple getting shot in the back. They win it anyway. <laughs> 11 to 7. Four round lead. Rain ready and waiting. First kill goes his way. Immediate trade. A shot from Simple, but the flames keep him back. Coldzera off angle in the Raptors, and because of the fire, they couldn't trade it out quick. Perfecto's got it with the MAC 10 either way, but still, not everyone committed to the bomb site. Still, one lurker. Electronic is outside, and that's Nico to take him down. Man advantage for FaZe in the retake. And how do you plant this bomb? This is so tricky, right? As soon as you plant the bomb, it's a one on three for the guy that's alone. The grenade is amazing, lands right on top of two people, and Simple set up for it. Maybe he could actually do it. He's going to get the first kill, falls back down out of danger, and now it's a two on two. They've actually almost pulled this off, Navi. They're such a good position all of a sudden. Perfecto sees the gun barrel, wins the fight, and it's a one on one. And Simple going straight for it doesn't want to leave any chance a nice triple kill and a nice clutch like most economics it doesn't make any sense yeah shout out to Tom rain able to tap him away with the deagle and he's oh. gonna want more he's he's trying to see if he could do it again sneaking in towards perfecto actually Ooh, Nico got one on the other side of the map. He's got him running. And listen, no one from FaZe has to do any fighting they can just stall him out oh rain you missed your chance cold Zara builds he brings it back for you, but this gets real dangerous now. These deagles are doing work, and even Nico <laughs> missing a really weird opportunity. Don't worry, Cold it doesn't matter. anything. <laughs> oh, man. It's all so uncomfortable. He was trying his best. He was saying, please, uh, like, there's a lot of people watching. I just I don't want to miss this this one D. <laughs> And he just did. Oh, Cold, long range. <laughs> that beautiful round. Look at him shouting as well. Oh, trying to burn it out, so... That at least gives them a chance to get out here, and Nico is entirely alone. He's going to need some backup or something. Timing is amazing for him, though, and he's going to take down Boom, which looked like that could have been really disastrous. So the Molotov that they threw up there, I mean, that was to buy some space for whoever is down there, Boomage, to try and do something, and nothing really comes of it. I feel like Navi doesn't actually have a plan in this round. I feel like they just got so much position outside, they just expected at some point they would have a fight that they could win. Finally, Perfecto's delivered it. 30 seconds left on the clock. Bomb just now creeping towards secret stairs. No one from FaZe is down there this whole round. Now that Nico is gone, they don't have any information of what's outside or where they're going, so... Again, yeah, I would say save it. There's no point. And they are going to do that. Yeah. You know, might as well just try it one more time. No, but no one is no one is falling back to help Nico. Yeah. Olaf is just now going, and he could actually he should be there in time. He should make it back just at the perfect moment. Nico's calling out. Here's the footsteps now. Yeah, they need a lot more backup though. I don't think two players are going to be quite enough to hold this. That's a really good smoke to try and buy some time, Nico. I think getting wall banged or something all the way down to half health and they're now trying to get in there. Olofmeister takes one. Nico on the follow-up and this crossfire working out really well at the moment. Nico even getting a parting kill, taking down Perfecto. And oh, nice electronic with a headshot. He was tagged. He was tagged as well, I think, through the corner of the wall. He's down to 28 HP, but we have a two on two. Yeah, that's really good. Bomb gets planted. Cold sneaking in. Flamey goes down. That's a perfect headshot. Cold Sierra so quick with the Krieg. And Electronic, he did a lot of magic early on. They're going to need him right now. One versus two. Turning around and pre-firing, and it's not enough. Rain will drop him in the end. Why is that? We do. All right. 24th round. Slow paced from Navi as well. Very far back. Just now putting up the wall. Got the one minute and 20 second mark. Good opening kill for Boomich. They don't have anyone downstairs, as far as I can tell, so... They don't like that lower bomb site. Maybe they just have a good... I mean, it's the correct play, uh, oh. for whatever reason why they're doing it. Stacking the upper bomb site. Rain's got to be careful. Molotov forces him out. Here comes the hit. Mini is exposed. I don't think anyone's watching that at the moment. brokey has got it with the AWP and Cold Zero from above, and this defense is perfect. Navi's got to be so confused why there's so many bodies in the upper bomb site, and FaZe win it 15-9. to nine. Economics, they're used to this kind of thing, so I guess that's the upside. Nico out in the open. Very dangerous. Oh, nice tracking from electronic bomb is quite far back they really don't have a lot of grenades on the navi side obviously the man advantage is great flamey comes charging down and that'll surely break up everything 
Rain alone, all of Meister, who was on the crossfire. I mean, that got completely Ooh. ruined. He turns around for it. Rain, oh! He gets a dink on Flamey as well. He almost turned that round in their favor. Brokey's here with that AWP set up, and he's going to snipe Flamey right out of the sky. Doesn't even get to touch the ground. Now a two on two. Bomb is going to go down, sure, but Cold Sierra is right in behind them. Perfecto sees it, and now the retake should be impossible here. Again, AWP in hand. He's going to have basically one chance to do this, I think. I don't think they know he dropped down, though. Oh, that's a great shot! He's got one more, and he knows the door opened. He has all the information. He's got the kit as well. He Actually, he's behind cover. He's going to have to go right now, Perfecto. No, the Molotov's not going to do it. He's just holding it in, and it's one second away. 16 rounds for FaZe. Pretty standard type of setup right here. They're trying to see if they can maybe move into the middle and take a little bit of control, but Rain is on the other side. And that smoke is actually stopping anyone from lower dark to try and get him. Rain gets a headshot, and they're trying to see if they can maybe return that middle. Not going to be allowed to. Great start for fate. Yeah, and he's got that P250, so if if he gets the timing right, he could snipe someone away. Flashbang and smoke, and inside of it, all of my just waiting electronic. Leap that left in there to try and see if he can get something done. Now they're out the middle, and they're going to try and see if they can crunch this B bomb side. Inside of it, Cold Zero and Brokey, and already gone. Immediately drop Perfecto with a beautiful double opening. And what do they do now in terms of retaking? That was the absolute coolest call uh, Navi could have made in that moment. This is perfect from Electronic. Him jumping down through that smoke neutralizes the numbers advantage that FaZe had. That left three players on the other side of the map that could not cross the smoke that was dropped in CT spawn. It gave Navi a four on two, or three on two, I should say, at the B bomb site. That was absolutely spectacular in, in my mind, that, that call right there. Nico has nothing left to do in this round. He's got the kit, he's got armor, he's just gonna back away, preserve it for the next, if he can. Perfecto goes for the peak, takes away his armor. Wow, that is, you're right. What an incredible call coming out. After being down a man as well, just trying to make sure you, uh, he actually goes up to the bottom, so. Fuck. Yeah, this could get actually dangerous. Cold at it again, oh. Rain with the follow-up. More headshots are coming through! And a lot of trouble now on the other side. Boomich, can he bring it back? There's still two more people to go. He's taking down Brokey, and he's trying his very best, but you know it's not going to be long before Cold shows up as well. Rain has gone down. It's still a 2 on 3 and Boomich actually spawned them back in the round. MAC-10 spray, just a little bit random, not really connecting. It's a good amount of damage, but they still actually need to find the kill. All of them are going to get one, but Boomich should be able to hide long enough. He doesn't need to take any kind of a fight. Should know there's no kit or anything in play. And all of my stuff, he's almost already out of time. The jump up and Boomich with the quad kill to save his team. Nico being very patient. They've got Cold Zera periodically checking the double door. Oh, that is very bold. I hope it pays off for him because that's a huge risk to take if you don't get anything from it. Free kill. He's blind on top of everything. That might have been overkill. He didn't even know it was coming. But that hasn't happened yet. You see him looking this whole time, just waiting for it. There was the chance, but now they get spotted, and now it's really uncomfortable because the it's fact that the opus out there. Yeah, you have to go, right? 20 seconds. Coming in from Catwalk as well. Nice pick off on Boomich as Nico will fall back down to the low ground in a five versus three. And yeah, time has simply run out. This is an angle and a half from Cold Zera. This is a real ride or die position to be in. Here we go, simple, trying to jiggle peek it. Oh, and that, he just lingered a bit too long. They can swing it back towards the A bomb side. They sort of made noises in the middle like they're gonna try and go B, but actually it's gonna be on the other side. Nico is there to take down Boomich, no problem in rain. He's hearing him as well, just seeing the top of someone's head. And he doesn't want to challenge it. I don't blame him for it as well. They're five versus three. Nico set up in case anyone should be bold enough to try and put the bomb down. Flamey had that unfortunate task and he does not live through it. Ooh. That's a nice headshot, but still two versus four. They have to know Olaf's still around here somewhere. And they haven't even spotted Rain, who's in CT spawn ready and waiting. Olaf just holding the angle. Good kill with the Krieg. Long range. The AK could never get settled. Three kills from the phase ops in this round and what should be a relatively simple retake, even without flashbangs, even without utility. Rain's got the kill. They'll salvage the op, surely. Cold is here with the orb. I mean, again, like you were just saying, if you can run him down, but he's pretty quick to get back through the window. Try for a bit of a flick, and he's a bit worried that someone's coming through. Definitely no broke. He's now alone inside of the bomb site. And he's going to pick up one and just buying time. Again, every second counts right now. The backup is coming, but it's just a second too long away. And now they actually are going to get that bomb plant down. They've got the Krieg inside. I don't know where that AWO, there we go, picked up by Simple. Oh, that is the one thing you definitely don't want. Molotov in a flashbang as well. Simple even throwing the bomb into the double doors just to make sure he could hit it to his teammates. Molotov is going to do absolutely nothing. No one is in that position, the back of platform. 
This retake, even with the weapons, good flashbang. Simple has to look away. Good trades. Simple's neutralized, but Perfecto comes through the door. And Reigns got a decision. He's got to play this game. Tap the bomb. It's a fake. Perfecto over the top. He's going to come through. Reigns got him. Reigns won it. Five to three, but the pistols almost do work. Quinka B set up this time. Broki is alone, and he is going to have to do everything right here. A kill would be great. Two might actually save the round, but flashbangs in his eyes. He can't see a single thing, and he gets completely trucked. No point in retaking it. Green and Boomich just missed each other in middle. Fine, flamey, though. And again, Boomich would probably be able to win the fight against him. Flashbang to try and take this peak. He's really, really... Hoping for it in simple. I'm not a lot of pressure. Still gonna win the fight. And Olaf Meister was the secondary lurker there. And like you said, those orbs being closed now. They're pushing into upper dark though against Perfecto. And that that's probably what could save this for FaZe if they win this fight right away. But if, even if it takes like a couple of more seconds, then Navi will know. There's the one. They know confirmation. Definitely he saw two there. So they again, they kind of have to go. It's similar last time. Once you lose the rest of the map, it's time to execute because the more backup is going to be coming. Look at the FaZe defense. They're all rotating here. A couple of more seconds and they'll be all five members at this bomb site. All of Meister up on top of the smoke. He gets the one electronic hiding inside of it at almost no health at all. A bullet will take him down surely any second now that's going to happen nico really good crossfire with that awp inside of an electronic never stood a chance there five versus two and boomich i mean he's tried to save them once before but this is too much to ask for. and simple covering this long angle but the bomb on it in a very unfortunate position there should be no way that he could actually do this one versus four smokes are up and we've got nico not even really going for it at the moment they're just going to leave him down there well, Nico doesn't even want to risk the second off. Remember, they have no money due to the chase in the previous round. So Simple is going to be able to get a, to be able to survive with this op in hand. Even if they go to the A bomb site, though, Nico is his whole plan just to get the one kill. And look, they have three flashbangs. Two of those you have to imagine are going to be used right on the hit. So that flashbang better be perfect. Boomich might be the saving grace if he can come through, but Nico's waiting for one flashbang. Now he plays retake, gives it up. And I'll tell you, this is still going to be a very difficult retake in a five versus five. If they don't have some of these initial fights go their way relatively quick, I think they might just want to bail out. They need to get Boomich almost for free. Boomich has won, and Brokey's going to back away. I think this is the retake, the opportunity they wanted. Good grenade, at least. They have to back off, surely. Yeah, I, I think so. Again, like, the money is just, it's so low. I thought Nico actually maybe could have tried to take a shot for the box, but I guess even that involves some amount of risk down there. Simple will take down Brokey and FaZe. I mean, last time they called a save, they ended up losing nearly everything, and this time they're kind of, they're kind of thinking about it again. Uh, just on the edge. Bomb is already so far ticked. I'm not sure if this is anywhere near worth it here. Flamey stands up and gets at least the one kill, tapping away and almost getting a second one. They're going to clean them up. They'll yeah. still lose the round, so I guess maybe kind of worth it. But still. No, that's good. I, I think that, that makes it worth it. They got all the kills. They took all the weapons away at the very least. It's pretty excruciating. Five to six, and it's a very, very close game once again. Rain with, uh, actually, Olofmeister with an instant headshot. Back Ooh. around the corner, and they can't catch the Norwegian quite. And once Nico gets this angle with the AWP, I think Olaf's just going to back away. Or push in. Ooh, right to the face. There goes Flamey. Wasn't expecting. He wanted a, a fairer fight. Like an M4 on the other side, someone he could duel with back and forth. That's not even a fair fight. He's got the one bullet headshot advantage. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? Well, Olaf playing close, and he has got that Krieg to take down Boomich. Simple with the return at least, but two versus four once again. So no one hunting for the weapons. Navi not trying to throw them away. But he can just sit there and be comfortable. They really have no way to get to him unless he swings out this one. I cannot believe they let him do that. <laughs> Electronic's going to be furious as well. Out in the open, they never expected it. The last, last guy you expect to go down in that scenario is like everyone else is in a more dangerous position. All of my stuff. Smoke is a little bit late and they know that he's there, but back up again is, is right behind him. Still goes down to Perfecto, and I think it's just FaZe losing a little bit of control in this round for no good reason. There's a chance that he's got it! He came right back to the perfect position in the car, snaps onto the head. Here we go, three on three, and this retake is definitely going to happen. Two kits on Brokey and Nico. Wow. Oh, and Perfecto is there with a the deagle in return. Going to go all the way down two on two now in this round, and I mean, we're near the end of the half. You need this round. Simple, going to win the fight, and Boomich with the other one. And Navi tie it all up. They're at 7 7. And unfortunately, it's just really Brokey and Cold Zera. That's unbelievable. Brokey, it's your turn next. He actually shot in midair as well. 5 7, and I think he got caught just a little bit. There. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
He takes down simple as well. That is so ridiculous. The second shot's not supposed to be that accurate. Nico in a one versus two, and I, this should bring an end to the madness. They know he's here. They've definitely heard him jump down. He's trying to see if he could do it one more time, and he's going to get denied <laughs> an eight to seven win at the end. Nico ready to set that up. That is an interesting addition now that you can actually throw those smokes through the ceiling. Flamey, big of a peek. He's waiting for the flashbang from a teammate, and there it is, and that sets him up nicely for a kill, but he's also blind in return out in the open, and no one can save him there. Electronic trying to come through, but Nico drops him, and now Perfecto waiting in the window, and he needs a kill right here. They had to wait so long for that to clear. Kept Flamey nice and isolated. Retake, gonna be tough. Boomich making noise as he swings in. Nico's got him broke. He's got simple, and Nico's got one more. Eight to eight. I don't mind that. Merit-based sniping, that's a good idea. Perfecto going down. That was just, you know, some shots ringing through the smoke from all of Meister, and that feels real bad. If you're Navi, this is this is the important buy round, right? And it starts out with something that you're like, you can't even really do much about. Boomich will take down Cold Sierra. That's a nice return. He did take a lot of damage for it. It looks like FaZe started to say, this B-side's looking wide open. Let's go for it. It could be wrong. Well, I mean, they're going to take the gamble, though, because of the pick. You know their defense is at least weakened inside the site, which means mid might be easier to take. This at least needs to be a trade. Flamey cannot get two kills. No one's checked it just yet. There's the first. Oh, they swung way too wide, but the mid stack is effective. And there's finally the smoke put up at the double doors. One is going to cross. That's Brokey with the bomb. Nico is ready to cover as well. Yeah, the problem is clearing the corner, they actually throw it, right? You could be dead before that even happens. There's a bit of a setup. There we go. The toss is in, and they almost line up for him. Nico gets one, but then Simple's there for the return. And now Brokey down on the low ground at the bomb site. Bomb is ticking away, and it's I'm... quite far ticked. Yeah, there's almost no time left. They're still running for it. They don't have a kit picked up. Brokey, he's going to get one and almost picks up the second. It doesn't matter in terms of the time here. Simple. Oh, he got off it. I don't know. I don't think he would have had time anyways, but he certainly got off it and got back on. He's going to bail out with a bomb. Eliminate him. Yes, it will. Takes the op out of his hands. But yeah, it's simple. Oh, the timing is so ridiculous. He split, but it feels like they're actually going to stick around. Maybe leaving Olofmeister in, in middle to defend that. Oh, they're bringing the bomb back. I don't know. This is this is very scary. Electronic down in CT spawn. Rain going to try and make the jump down, but Electronic catches him. Big kill coming through here for Navi. And now inside of the bomb site. Double defense, this should be strong enough to hold back Brokey and all of Meister, no issue. They need to save, I think they just back yeah. off. He's gonna be running straight down the middle, he wants to take this fight, Brokey, he's actually just so aggressive about it. Sees him, but Simple is a bit quicker at least this time, and still a four on four though. Boomage on Flamey at the crossfire, this could be huge. Flamey actually goes down, and they go for the return fight. Nico's right out there, but if he goes down, that's the bomb drop as well, and oh, he gets the AK out just in time, and that's a bit of a victory. There's the bomb transfer. Nico with the half HP, just gonna sit back towards pit, cover Olaf's progression. Smoke comes down deep for CT spawn. They didn't have a second one to full, do the full wall, so this'll do. That's right. That, and that then Dust, I bet they go on some, some noodling dates. That sounds like not my kind of game. <laughs> Boomich failed the smoke over there at long. Electronic is going down, and now Boomich is kind of just fighting, and he actually is gonna win the fight against Rain. Olaf close up, they're gonna double peek this. Surely you think, oh, Brokey. Again, just walking right into the op shot. There's the trap set and sprung. Beef. Again, you need you need some help from Navi here to get back in a two on four round. Standing inside of the smoke and it clears. That's a trick that Navi are really, really well used to. They do it themselves half the time, but Cole coming out on top. And now that it changes the round a bit, they still have two Molotovs and a smoke. They could try and do this. Flamey sneaking in and pretty much diffusing any threat in this round. That's a nice play. Oh, then he's even got Nico right at the end. And this time they will take advantage of the long spawns. Olaf's already out. They've beat the defense. Electronic spams through the smoke, but no HP is lost on either side until just now. Yeah, Rain losing all of the all of the HP in fact. And his head. Huge. Spending a lot of resources, eight Molotovs and everything on taking down Boomich, and they'll be successful. They're throwing everything at him. Remaining passive for the moment. Second smoke to complete the wall. Molotov comes out late. I don't think that's going to do anything. Smoke in the bomb site. Electronic is forced back. Oh, he's just trying to stay hidden. Simple with the one jump. Does he want to go for it again? He can't actually see anything. And now they're almost coming through the smoke. Yes, oh. indeed they are. Nico with a double kill and taking down Perfecto 2. Flamey, no chance at all. Faze about to be a 14 rounds here.
they can. And here's another detail to maybe keep an eye on. Last time, Simple got smoked out and he didn't really get a chance to do anything. So you wonder mentally, is he going to want to say, I'm just going to fight. You know, I want to fight in front of the smokes. I don't want to just get blocked off and I die. I hope so. God, I hope so. Well, now might be the time for it. 30 seconds. He's creeping around the edge. Yeah, he's certainly thinking about it. He wants to go hard at them this time. And he takes down Nico. That's the bomb. And no one's calling it. Another flick. Simple. He wants another. He'll get it as well. Taking down Brokey. A leg shot. And that's going to be it. A quad kill for Simple in the round. Oh, he's out on the open. If he dies, that A defense is going to be very weak. He does a bit of damage. But Simple, can he get any kind of a grenade down here to help him? I feel like he needs something to make this work. Oh, a headshot will certainly do it. And Simple takes down Nico. And just like that, now we are on map point almost certainly here. All of Meister and Brokey, there should be nothing that they could do from this position. Now we just need to keep that cool and not fight for this. Phase, this attack has become one-dimensional. So, so much emphasis on long A. Brokey, that's his first kill in some time. He's been on 11 for at least five rounds. Navi has emphasis on catwalk, but they can't actually fully commit to the staircase. Electronic, he needed more. Simple's got one. He's sticking around for more. He wants to go for a follow-up peek, but Olaf is ready. And three players now have access to the A bomb site. Molotov is gonna slow him down, but it's open for business. That's some experience as well. Just, you know, the, the style of Simple, him sticking around, you could see they definitely knew that phase. The Molotov is going to be a bit too late. I mean, it'll do some damage to Brokey, but that will be a bomb plant, a very important swift one as well. No more grenades on the phase side, whereas at least Navi have the one and they have kits as well. So if they get up into a defuse scenario, oh, nice shot from Brokey. We said a bit missing, but the last couple of rounds definitely been hitting some shots and all of Meister waiting for it. He's going to try and go for the repeat, gets a headshot on Flamey and that leaves Perfecto. One versus two. A bit of a jump just to try and see if he can bait out the shot. He's going to pick it up. Can he actually bring them onto that third map? He's got Olaf in the corner, and I think he knows it as well. That AK-47 could pepper it right through. He wins the fight for the turnaround. He's got the kid as well. He's got the map. He's right on it, and that's going to be 16 to 14 as Navi will bring us onto a third map here in Katowice. We're going to back off quickly. This is where the, all this round lies so heavily and how this engagement. Three on three, essentially, in these stairs, and even that damage might not matter. It might lure them right into this crossfire. Perfecto can't win it. And this is where the trap is sprung, but no one else peeked. Cold Zero was all alone. It's an extended fight, and Boomich finally ends it. I mean, he was kind of there, Brokey, but he wanted to fall back instead and maybe wait for the teammates, and I can't really blame him. That means the bomb goes down. Simple trying to hold the door, but he can't. He gets dropped, and now it's Boomich and Flamey trying to hold on to this round. Still, the bomb is only just planted. Flashbang to set it up. Flamey actually pushing, but he's going to get dropped, and now it's Boomich with a clock behind the pillar alone in a one versus three, and they're coming from every side. Boost, Ooh, actually, to try and get that kill, and they will. Flamey. Olaf. With the AWP, doesn't even need to use it. Rain's got two kills. Now he might have an opportunity. Smoke comes up. Boomich and Electronic, the only ones left. And there's a timer. If they're not aggressive moving forward, they're certainly going to get hit from behind. Yeah, Nico's holding him in on that one side. I actually... I, I like this play from Nico, actually. He didn't go all the way up the stairs for the flank. He probably would have if they if his A teammates had called out that there's still pressure, but he's just backing away and making sure there's no escape. It, it, it's a less of a risk for the weapon, and it's less of a risk to lose the round, and now he's got a free kill. That's a knife out. Electronic yeah. goes down. So when this kill happens, they need to now kind of adjust things. Yeah, he's alone in here. Surely his, his only job is to stay alive. Just try and buy time. Don't do anything crazy. Wait for the backup to get there. Olofmeister alone with the AWP inside of the connector. Oh, Brokey playing that position really well. Flashed in with a grenade from Rain, able to get the immediate headshot. And now every second, I mean, more and more people are going to start to show up inside of this bomb site. Navi had their window, and it was about 10 seconds ago. Now it's going to get tr really tricky. The bomb is down on that slope, and Simple wants to find somebody to snipe. But yeah, again, everyone's here. There's no utility left on the, no or on, the on either side, really. There's no nades whatsoever. There's plenty of time. That's a big shot for Rain to hit because Simple had 40 seconds with the op to peer into the site. Now Perfecto and Flamey have to work together and commit to get this plant down. But Brokey's got a new angle, and he's backed up by Nico. Surely not a kill. Good trades, but Flamey in a one versus two. Still time on the clock, and that is a narrow miss. This defense is going to have a decision to make. Rain is going to have to adjust. Sleep at the wheel. Ah, uh, yeah. Tired eyes, I guess. Rain playing by the fountain, but yeah, every second it's going to get a little bit more awkward. And now they're also... Ooh, nice shot from Simple taking down Rain. Now they're very far away from Brokey. Or he'd have to have a Krieg in hand. You never know. We'll see what happens. Brokey in the water. They know exactly that follow-up peak. His flashbang did nothing. And now he's got to slowly back away, but they catch him. That board is paper thin, and they just spotted an elbow going and disappearing. With Nico's HP, he's got an op. They're going to save. So good at it. So 
Rain, yeah, he's worried about, he's so paranoid about looking the right way. He's got the right idea. Smoke goes up again, and he's going to fall back and take it. him down. Hit him. That is a good, little, yeah, audio cue. You're exactly right. Phase to rotate into the B bomb site. It's two of them along the wall, though. This is dangerous. This is double up territory. They've got to be so careful. Perfecto waiting for his moment. There's the shot. 15 seconds of the clock, and all the kills going the way of Phase. One final trade at the end. Seven to three. It feels like B for them has been harder to actually get anything done in. But A, they can't get close to. Nice boost and flamey. That's the second time he gets killed. I think first time was Olaf Meister with the AWP. This time it's Cold Seer with the Krieg. It's going to start to feel really annoying. And sneaking in, though, for the Monster Tunnel is Boomich. He cleared their way into a round earlier. See if he could do it again. Timing is kind of everything. He's got the element of surprise for sure. No one is there to actually spot this out, so it could get really weird. A bit of jump down there. Olaf Meister going to go down to simple and... Now it's a three on four, but yeah, he catches Cold Zero completely. I thought maybe Brokey jumping would have spotted him out, but he didn't. Now going to be falling back. Boomich again opening up this round for Na'Vi. This is some pretty big plays coming out from him. Time to set up for a much quicker B-type explosion if they can get the right kill, and they can't. That's such a good counter flashbang coming out. It's just not worth it, is it? He's trying to see if he can bait someone out with a bit of a grenade, and they're going to go for the double peek down right around the corner. Chasing him might not be a good idea. He gets the kill on Nico, still 45 seconds, but look over at Long. Boomich is making his way out there, and he's 30 seconds now. Smoke is going to be put in pretty deep. That should be the go signal for everyone on phase to start rotating. They go for the peak, and Boomich, he actually gets one of them at 20 seconds. How did they get this bomb back down? This is a problem. Olaf Meister waiting in the middle of everything, and Perfecto, he's too low to take the fight. Actually almost catches Olaf in a very weird position. But Olive will clean it all up for a triple and an eighth round on phase. Up against the wall, it's a very powerful double setup. If you don't get flashbanged, which, I mean, if you do, then... They don't have any. Navi doesn't have any. Oh, you're absolutely right. They have a couple of them smokes and Molotovs here. That's it. Trying to get it done. A team kill. And Brokey's still in play. Trying to go for more. And he'll drop the bomb. 30 seconds left. He turns almost for the triple. But he may have done enough already. Now coming in for the other side of that sewer. It's rain. I think he just spotted the Perfecto there. So he definitely knows they're coming back for more. Flamey waiting inside. I mean, this is going to have to be a, a sketchy bomb plant. He can't cover him. Perfecto, oh, sorry, Flamey has to play for the after plant pretty much and faking it once, but now the flank is coming in and Rain will drop him one time and the double up following with that one. Nicely done in a nine to six end here. They did start on the T side, which can be restrictive on this map. Maybe switching over the defense is going to help out. Oh, this is a big play through Monster, but it's slowed down. Great counter flashes from the defense. Perfecto's got the first kill. Nico hits the ground. And Flamey's gonna build upon it. The defense is working out phenomenally. Oh, Flamey! Four quick kills right at the end! You know, a bit more of uh, an opposition they were expecting. Now boosting up on top instead and coming right through. A lot of speed behind it. A great flashbang, but still, the MP9s are doing a lot more than you were expecting. Boomich, Perfecto, Electronic as well, and that leaves Nico in a one versus three. They're fighting a little bit too much. Again, just slow it down now. You've got the one on three, now the one on two. Smoke up behind here, and that's dangerous. Don't want to get tapped through the smoke. They do eventually get him down. And if there hadn't been a bomb plant that round, FaZe would have been very pressured with the economy. Got to try and see if they can explode through this time. A double stack on the other side. They're running through the smoke at Perfecto, mowing them down with the help of Flamey. That is three men dead with no response yet. We haven't even seen anyone really even approach bathrooms. Emil, they're wiped out. Bankrupt. Sneaking all the way out. That's a brutal position. That's so much information. Even Boomich is now rotating off the B bomb site, and that's a massive kill to get. And yeah, Rain needed to be aggressive there. Needed to trade that back. Boomich is now returning to the B bomb site. 12 seconds on the clock, and FaZe might be about to run out of time simply, and that would be devastating here in what is close to the end of the map. It's Nico to go down first five seconds on the clock. The bomb, it's already being planted, and Boomich, he can't get there quick enough. Rain with the kill, and Perfecto sneaking out. A little bit of an overstep, leaving simple. In a one versus two, Rain with a nice triple kill on the round, and I don't know, Simple, he's got a lot of money, and he's he's had a hot hand, but still, is it worth it to try for it? He's got the USP yes. out, sneaking in, yeah, you want it, well, maybe you're gonna get a chance. <gasps> oh, instant headshot, and now, with the pistol, there's no head armor on Brokey, in fact, he's up on top of the box, and Brokey will win the fight. I thought we'd see it, we did see him try it early on in the half, and it got so shut down, they didn't go back to it. Oh. Simple, this is the tag, that's spammable, he's down to 9 HP, somehow he's alive, but FaZe do not want him to get away. There's the peak, there's the support from Flamey as well. 
And look at the timing. Rain is right back there. I think they're going to try and fake that A bomb site, but Electronic, is he going to catch them? He'll at least see. He'll say, No one is here. I've not seen anybody. And that's why they can rotate Symbol back down there. Three men on the bomb site. Electronic going to be shooting in the back. This is a million to one chance of phase. They're walking into a stack yet again. A quick trade there, but Simple will take down Rain even at seven health. And Electronic, there's the shot in the back to drop Brokey. And the pro teams recently. It has. I've noticed that as well. Electronic really far out on the A side again. The restrooms allowing for a four man stack at the B bomb side. And FaZe might be playing right into it once again here. It's rain to go down first. Simple with the early AWP pickoff. And Boomich is there. And yeah, they're just feeding more and more people into this huge defense. It's a nice shot from Cold Zero, but he's inside of the smoke. And back up is hard to come by at the moment. He tries to get out, but Flamey will drop him. And now Brokey goes down. It's 16 to 10 as Navi end up winning the series.